Hello, people of God. This is Pastor Merle Brockoff coming to you from uh, St. Louis, Missouri, uh, Bethel Lutheran Church, where I'm serving as intentional interim right now. I'm going to record a few of these to send out through Bethel Connections, our local experience here, as I uh, guide this congregation through the interim process and uh, work through the, the uh, the steps that we need to make to, to get them their next pastor, uh, that one whom God is preparing for them already. So first of all, thank you, uh, Bethel, for such a wonderful welcome here. Uh, I'm quite comfortable in my apartment, and uh, in these strange times, it is good to be able to come to you in this way to express a few things um, and to let you know some stuff coming up this week. First of all, I want to say thank you. Uh, I am thankful this day for uh, the snow as it falls, I am thankful for the welcome I've received here. I am thankful for the, the numbers of COVID that continue to drop that will allow us to hopefully do a few things differently here uh, as your COVID advisory team is, is working on that right now and beginning to discern where it is and when it is that we might be able to loosen up some of our restrictions. But thank you for being so patient and for participating in the ways that you've been able to through the live stream and through um, the various other vehicles that we use along the way Zoom to make, to make connections with people. There are some things I want to highlight this week. Um, in the connections, you'll find a little article for me about the times in which we live uh, and the challenges of, of uh, figuring out how it is that we are both rooted in a deep tradition, but also having to reach a culture that is divergent and diverse. So some thoughts and provocations there. On Sunday, we'll be preaching and talking about uh, Jesus as he is walking along the seashore at Gennesaret or Galilee again uh, and calling his disciples in a very different kind of call story and what it is that Jesus does in the midst of that call story that I want to lift up. Uh, how do you make connections with those who are busy and uh, perhaps not paying the greatest amount of attention to you right now? You'll note in Bethel Connections that there is a, the transition team and Bible study leaders have been working diligently to prepare a time for us to gather together as a congregation, as many people as possible, to have a conversation about dwelling in the Word, looking at a passage from Luke, Luke 4, where Jesus uh, talks about his um, call to ministry and what it is he has come to do and, and giving us some time to reflect upon that call in Bethel's life as well and how we respond to that and some time to talk about our history, where we've come from, where we are now and where we believe God is calling us, moving us forward even as God is preparing that one for us who will someday be our new pastor. So pay attention to that in the Bethel Connections. There's a sign up genius available for you to connect with to sign up for both in-person Bible studies and Zoom Bible studies depending upon how you want to interact and play with that uh, and your comfortability. So do pay attention to that. Um, we received word this, this um, week that the ELCA Youth Gathering will not be taking place uh, as the COVID numbers continue to mitigate against gathering all those folks together. So we will be in conversation as a youth group, uh, youth team, trying to decide what it is that we want to do to highlight our experience here at Bethel and to, and to involve and to reach out to our young people. So that's coming down the pike. And, uh, and I'm just looking forward to Sunday. I'm so thankful. Uh, it's a good day to be thankful. And so I hope you will be thankful this day as well. Thanks for listening.